All right, welcome back. This is the fourth installment of the um, Polynesian follow along quilt. And uh, right now I am working on the, um, the two yellows. The star we're going to be doing tomorrow, starting 3.30 p.m. Eastern time, is this star right here. It's called the um, Arkansas Snowflake. Arkansas Snowflake. A lot of the characteristics of that particular star is in the, um, the nine patch star that we completed today, which is this one. And it has the same kind of center and it has the same kind of uh, little uh, outside accents up here at the top. Um, so pretty much some of what we did yesterday, we're just gonna do today. So I have already cut out, of course, my whites for all four blocks. I have them clipped together so I know which ones go to which. So these are the pieces that are going to go right here. Okay, one here, one here. And if you were, you know, which this is batik fabric, so it really didn't mean to, uh, didn't matter right size or wrong size because they basically look the same. Um, but if you have fabric that has like a certain pattern on the front and this is the right side and this is the wrong side, then when you cut this particular um, template, let me grab a little piece here. You're going to do eight total of each. That's 16 in all, but you're gonna do eight where you cut it like this. And you're gonna do eight that you're gonna cut back. <coughs> Bless you. Eight that you're gonna cut backwards like this, which will create two of each. So that gives you 16, four for each, and four of each side. Um, of that so remember that's what you have to do with your whites okay now once that's done then the only thing we have left are the two yellows now you may have picked a different fabric for your yellows and that's fine um, just remember that your your light colored yellow this one right here or whatever color you put in this place please make sure before you cut out anything on this that you cut out your five strips of two and a half by the width of fabric you need those five strips for the border so the border on the quilt, um, this is just the first border. There's a second border that you're going to do with your dark blue, and you should have cut that out too, and you're going to need six of those by width of fabric. And that's as long as your width of fabric, and that means from selvage to selvage, is approximately between 20, uh, 42 and 40. And you kind of figure that at 40 just so you don't wind up shorting yourself because sometimes fabric is only 40 inches wide, not 44 or 42. Okay, so once you have those, set those aside because you're going to need those when we're done. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start cutting. So when I first looked at this and I put the cutting instructions on the, here, let me get this out of the way. And if you need, if you need anything, you have any questions, please email me. And um, to find more videos, you can find it at SRQ Quilter at YouTube. Um, make sure you register, or register, make sure you subscribe so that you can get any future videos. They'll come straight to you and let you know. At least I, th I think that's how that works. Um, okay, so when I was looking at this piece of fabric and it has on here, uh, has on here that on your dark yellow, which is this one, you should have eight, four, and three sixteenths. But if you look at this, it doesn't really look like with this piece of fabric that you can do eight, um, four sixteenths, four and four, four and thirteen sixteenths squares. Um, so when I was playing around with it, let me see if I can find my little template here. When I was playing around with it, I realized that if we just flipped the star a couple of times, the tip of the star, well, wouldn't you know it? Now all of a sudden I can't find it. Let's see. No, 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 no. Uh, yep, that's it. Okay. So if you take the star and you start it here and then you flip it this way and then flip it this way, you only need to double up the fabric and that'll give you six and then you can put one more way over here. Now when I wrote, when I was kind of drawing it out, I realized after I got going that I use an actual real pen on this one and not the Frisian pen. So, since I can't do anything about that and it has actually leaked all the way through to the other side, I'm going to just go ahead and I have a little scrap piece of um, yellow fabric here that I'm just going to put underneath here. And then I'm going to take my ruler and just go ahead and cut this out. Just go ahead and get it cut right out. Let's see, where are all my rulers? Uh, 
Okay, so this one. I am like most families who have a six year old at home where well, normally she would be at school. Well, not right now, but she would normally be in bed. But since she starts school kind of late, that's how we do it. Okay, so you probably hear her in the background, which it is almost time for her bedtime. Okay, so I'm going to slide this off. And then. I already have it marked out, but normally I just go ahead and follow along with my ruler. So for this block, this block for the five, now what did I do with that paper? There it is. Okay, so this block requires two of the five and three sixteenths, the dark yellow, here we go. Two of the five and three sixteenths by three and sixteenths. This was already marked out for the five and three sixteenths by three sixteenths. And here's the white one to go with it. So all I need are two. So I have my two, each two whites, two, uh, not white, I'm sorry, two light yellow, two dark yellow. Okay, so we're going to set that off to the side. And in fact, I may even use that for my, for my template. Okay. And then we can just go ahead and trim these out as well. So let me get my ruler up here. I don't know why I was thinking that was supposed to be white. It's not white. It's light, light yellow. Okay, there's that one. And, and this will just pretty much use up all of that dark yellow fabric. Okay, and then once we're done cutting this out, then we are going to um, cut out the cut off. Go ahead and cut the dog ears off, so that we have we're going to cool. use that to um, properly line up. No, I got two things to do. Okay, so I've already marked it down right here. I don't think I can zoom. I've already marked it on the on the um, on the tip. But I can use my template, which I have moved again. And if I line my fabric back up back up there, put that back on here, then I see where my my dog ear is at, and I can go ahead and trim them right off here. Up or get down. One or the other. Don't bug me. Okay, and that's two of them, and we only need six more to complete this section. And then we're going to do the exact same thing for the other one. But I wanted to show you this one especially because there was so little fabric left over for this. Um, which is actually good because that means that the cutting instructions, um, the fabric requirements that they, um, that I listed, um, work out pretty much right to the, right to the edge. So you've got a little bit left over, but not a lot of extra. So. No, put it on, put it on your nose, put it on your. And we're going to rotate this, trying not to cut into the other side. Um, so if you put it, if you have enough to make a little bit of a space, um, just so you don't cut into the other triangle, that would be good. Okay. And then I'm going to take my little scissors right here and just go ahead and trim out the um, the dog ear on this one. Okay, there's that one, and that one, and then I can either use a pair of scissors or I can go ahead and put it back underneath my ruler. That's 
two more done. That one six and then our last one right here is going to be number eight and we need eight of these two for each block and we have four blocks and then we'll need to turn around and do the same thing for the yellow but as I looked at the yellow there was definitely a lot more of the light yellow than there was of this dark yellow and of course that was probably had to do with the fact that it's for your border all right so here we have it two for each color for each block and now we're just going to do our light one. All right. So that should about do it for today. Just go ahead and do exactly what we just did for the dark yellow. We're going to do the same thing for the light yellow. You can either draw it out or you can lay it down and then um, cut it with your, um, with your ruler. Or if you mark it, then you can cut it with your scissors. Um, whichever way works best for you. I kind of like the ruler. It just makes a nice straight cut and then I don't worry about getting wonky and the fabric moving all over the place like it did with the scissors. All right, remember if you have any questions to email me at my SRQ Quilter uh, Gmail account. Um, also, don't forget we are doing a drawing uh, Monday the, what day is Monday? Whatever day Monday is, today is the 21st. And so uh, Monday would be 24th. 24th, we are gonna be doing a drawing. So make sure that you send me an email that says, put me in the drawing. And I will put your name with your email address in the drawing for the, um, oh, honey, what did I call that? Um, some of my favorite things. Um, these are items that I have that I use um, close by um, at my sewing machine. And I'm going to share them with you in a little gift bag um, for you to enjoy some of what I consider my favorite things to have at the sewing table. Um, which will probably, of course, include either a charm pack or a jelly roll or something like that. So make sure you send me a email, an email with your name and your email address, of course, and say on there, sign me up for the drawing or put me in for the drawing or make sure the word drawing is inside the email. Okay, perfect. Uh, again, if you have any questions, make sure you email me and I will hopefully see you tomorrow starting at 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time um, on Facebook at SRQ Quilter. All right, have a good night.